So you got a really great idea for an aircraft design and you don't know where to get started? This video is for you. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Danny Creech with Bright Star Assemblies and I'm going to share with you how I'm going about designing my aircraft. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can go about designing an aircraft and in fact if you go and do a Google search trying to find information out there about how to design a small general aviation aircraft which is generally six passengers or less uh, piston engine propeller driven aircraft is really difficult uh, most of the stuff that you can find out there on youtube or something like that is about the aerodynamics and that is absolutely one of the most important things but let's say you just want to come up with a concept design like my friend russ i'll show you a quick picture of russ's design it's called the odyssey so this is something my friend designed. I'm helping him with the construction of this aircraft. And um, he's got several different versions of this, a V-tail, a T-tail, um, both electric and ducted fan engines. So I'm excited to see where that's gonna go. He's already made the, the fuselage shell and some of the other parts to it. Um, but let's talk about how you can design your own aircraft. Here's some different ways of designing your own aircraft. They're not in any particular order. You could just start putting some parts together and not put anything on paper or in a computer program and just hope it works out. I don't recommend this as it generally doesn't work out and you're out all the money for the supplies that you bought to build it. A better way is to draw out your ideas on paper, then build your design. But still, unless you have a background in aeronautical engineering, this may not be much better than the first way I mentioned. You could go get a college degree in aeronautica engineering, work as an engineer for several years, and then based on your own knowledge, design your own aircraft. This is a much better way, but that would take a lot of money and a lot of years of, of training and getting experience. You could hire an engineering firm, and give them all your ideas and have them design your aircraft for you. But I'm sure you know the downside to this, which is money. These companies would want in the neighborhood of about a quarter million dollars to input and verify your design. So if you are a multimillionaire, this would be a great way to go. Since I'm not, I chose not to go this route. If you happen to be friends with an aeronautical engineer and he's willing to help you, that would be a great help. Or you could check with your local EAA chapter. EAA stands for Experimental Aircraft Association. They're a great organization, and I recommend you become a member of this organization. Uh, then get in touch with your local chapter of EAA, which is near you. The EAA's website is www.eaa.org. And again, I highly recommend uh, becoming a member of that organization. Many of the major CAD programs come with analytical tools which can help you check your design after you finish it. You can hire an aeronautical engineer to work for you for a year and together input your ideas, having him use his knowledge to make your design work. There are many other ways you could go about designing your aircraft. These are just a few I could think up off the top of my head. So now I will share with you what I did. Basically, what I'm doing is a combination of several of these ways. Back in 2013, I decided to go with the CAD program called SOLIDWORKS. I had heard really good things about this program from uh, designers of aircraft. It's not just great for inputting your ideas. It also has several analytical tools which will check your, the strength of your structure, the fluid dynamics. You can see where your drag is at and several other things you can do with it. Also, once you have everything inputted into it and you've described all your materials and everything, you can get a complete list of all materials such as bolts, number of rivets, how many sheets of aluminum or carbon you need, and so on. The problem I ran into once I bought this program was how hard it is to learn to use it. I downloaded several video tutorials on how to use it However, since I could not see the hands of the teacher and what they were doing, I couldn't always duplicate what they were doing. 
So next, I tried to find a college that offered courses on this specific software, but that didn't work. Then I put an ad on Craigslist looking for a local tutor who could sit down with me and show me what I was doing wrong. I got a few distant people who called me and said they could help me, but they lived in other cities. And for me at that time, it just didn't work for me. So for the next, I don't know, six, seven years, I played around with the software from time to time. I never got to where I could actually make a part in it, though. This brings us up to about the end of 2019. I really wanted to get my design going. Over the years, I had thought about it many times, and I'd worked out exactly what I wanted. But I didn't have my design on paper or in a CAD program, so no one else could see my vision. So just explaining it to them made it hard for them to visualize what I was talking about. Then one evening, I was talking with my friend Russ, which I mentioned before, and he told me I need to get my design on paper. I'm not a good drawer at all. He recommended me getting some French curve drawing tools, and so that's what I did. After buying them, I sat down and drew out these original photos here. Next, I needed to draw them to scale. So I got some graph paper and redrew them on the graph paper. Next was to input these drawings into SolidWorks. But since I still didn't know how to work the program, this was going to be a problem for me. This is when I started looking online for someone who had a passion for our aircraft like me and who knows SolidWorks. I did find someone, but before I get into that, let me share something with you. Remember how I said back in 2013 I contacted SolidWorks directly and purchased the program? This is a $10,000 plus dollar program. However, if you are a student or a veteran like myself, you can buy it for like 20 bucks, or at least you could back in 2013. However, today, SolidWorks is partnered with EAA, and if you are a member of EAA, you can download and use this program for free. Yes, free. They will even allow you to take the first certification exam so you can become certified for free. Nowadays, there are hundreds of YouTube videos and built-in tutorials, videos that are right inside SolidWorks. So learning this program has become a lot easier. Now back to me looking for someone online. I checked a lot of SolidWorks Facebook group, uh, which led me to some websites. And then I just made up a short little letter of what I was doing and what I wanted to do. And just basically asking people if they were interested in getting involved with what I was doing. After doing this for about a month or so, I finally found a guy who was into designing cars. His work was really great, but without any knowledge of aerodynamics, it would be a big learning curve for him. But if he was willing to give me a chance, I was willing to give him one. As a trial, I sent him my drawings and said, make something sexy out of this. Really wow me. This is what he sent back to me. As you can see, he did. He did a fantastic job really wowing me. I was quite impressed. From just those photos, he was able to create a three-dimensional picture of exactly what I was looking for. Because of these photos, we set out together with me walking him through what I, what I needed, and then he would input it. Sometimes I would give him a little bit of flexibility of saying, hey, just make it what you think looks sexy, and then I'll let me take a look at it. And then I will help you modify it to where it will actually work for what we're doing. This young man lives halfway around the world. And we have found the best way for us to collaborate together is using Skype. We meet up about twice a week and he shares his desktop with me. And we work like that. Later, he will upload the photos to my Dropbox. I'll download them and look at them in SolidWorks. Not long ago, I was laid off for three months, and during this time, I took the time to really start learning how to use SolidWorks. Now, I'm still a beginner, but I now know how to make parts in it, how to build assemblies, and how to do several other things. Anytime I get stuck, I can always ask my friend, and he'll help me through whatever, wherever I'm stuck at. 
All right, well, I hope you liked the video. Uh, this is my very first YouTube video, so uh, please bear with me. Um, still learning how to edit and how to do things like that. Um, if you like what we're doing and you all follow along, as you can already tell from the photos you saw in this video, this here is the most recent development that we've done and the nose has changed. We've got cuffs on the leading edge. So sort of a lot of things that's happening. I'm going to be putting out a video about once every two weeks to once a month as we're making changes, let you follow along the progress. And if you like what you see, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And uh, yeah, list some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, I appreciate all the input and all the comments and uh, please Follow along. Thanks.